My name's Guy Kestivan. I've been a professional biking kit tester for nearly 25 years and today I'm super excited to be riding the properly radical Forbidden Druid, complete with the new mullet Ziggy Link. So first of all, uh, massive thanks to uh, Ben at uh, No Limits, who's uh, got this, this is his demo bike, all tricked out in Bergtech, uh, custom decals on the blue and stuff. So this isn't quite a stock bike, but the frame color is stock and Ben will put together a super pimpy build uh, if that's what you want. And uh, yeah, so big thanks to Ben for bringing the bike over. Uh, right. Radical, uh, not really in terms of geometry, 65.6 uh, .6 head angle, uh, 465 mil reach on this large, 75.6 uh, seat angle, uh, bottom bracket height around 340 mil. What is radical though is this, what they call the trifecta system. So to rewind a bit, uh, Forbidden is a small company set up by Owen Pemberton, who used to work at Norco, had experience on the uh, Norco downhill bike, uh, which ran the uh, high pivot setup. And just the advantages you get in terms of isolating uh, the rear wheel path from the pedaling, just convinced him that a trail bike using a similar system would be the absolute ultimate when it comes to really choppy, chunky terrain. So that is what we've got here. We've got a conventional bottom bracket position, but then, the main pivot is right up here, and you then got this idler pulley. I mean, it's actually not quite on the main pivot. It's uh, slightly back and slightly higher than the main pivot, uh, just to tune the uh, anti-squat and the anti-rise. Actually goes from around 120% anti-squat in sag, 30% sag, goes through to about 108 at full travel. It's a 130 mil back end, so you've got this big idler up here uh, for the chain to go over, and what that means is, the axle path can swing a long way back, I mean much further back than if the pivot was down here as, as per usual, and it's rearward all the way through the stroke, so it's uh, at full compression, it's a 27 mil pullback uh, on the rear wheel, rear wheel, and 17 mil as it, as it sits static. Uh, so the uh, additional complication means uh, you know you do need a uh, chain guide on it to uh, in, you know make sure there's enough chain wrap on the chain and on large and extra large frames you will need a couple of extra links in the chain to make it all reach around. Uh, apart from that, drive chain is all uh, standard XT on this build. So you've got uh, two linkages in here which manage the shock rate. It's deliberately a triple phase shock rate, so you know supple at the start, supportive in the centre. They're nice and progressive. If you look at the graphs, it's super linear. Uh, both on progression and it's super linear on progression so a really really predictable uh, result from that float dpx2 shock and there's just loads of really really neat detailing on this frame you've got this uh, big chain protector obviously up on the chain on, up on the seat stay although you know that length should be on tension all the time you know if you do back pedal there's going to be some slack to slap off there so you've got this tooth chain protector on there you've got a fender all the way down the back there to uh, stop the spray getting onto the rear shock uh, like I say, you've got ISCG mounts for this chain guide. You've got a little storage compartment uh, under the belly there. It's kind of, size varies depending on the frame, but you've got enough space in there for a tube. I mean, obviously, you know, it's Allen key. It's not the easiest thing to get to. It's not like SWAT or the Trek one. Uh, but, you know, there's a bit of additional storage if you need it in the belly of the bike there. Uh, full size bottle cage mount and then another accessory mount under there. Uh, internal cable routing goes through the top tube, really nice slim top tube, and bolted uh, cable fixtures at the front end up by the head tube there. You now, big chunky head tube, and the frame is put together by VIP, who are one of the premium frame manufacturers uh, out in the Far East, so proper top quality construction. And just like really nice details, like, you know, this chunky uh, seat collar on there on this extended mast, and um, you know, 148 mil boost on the back end. And then flipping it round, you've got this Ziggy Link in here, uh, which you can add to uh, uh, turn uh, the bike into a mullet setup. So uh, 27 and a half inch back wheel on there now. Uh, same travel, same geometry, everything else. It's an official, uh, it's an official trifecta product, as you can see on the anodizing there. Uh, and it comes in that red, so people know that uh, you've gone for the party option rather than the standard. Uh, black linkage in there and you can see those are the two linkages that drive the shock in there and it's compatible with pretty much any shock uh, you know even big volume stuff like a Fl float x2 fox or a coil shock uh, but it's running this uh, float dpx2 at the moment uh, just I think what else is there on detail there uh, like I say neat seat cluster with a little replaceable bolt on there and you know Fox 36 fork up front. This is a 150, but you can also run it with a 140 if you want. Uh, race face 30 mil, i.e. race face arc 30 rims on this, so reasonably lightweight rim. 
uh, and the whole bike that's one thing I've said comes in at 14.7 kilos so mid you know heavy to mid weight for 130 mil travel 3.1 kilo claimed frame weight but I've seen this built up with a uh, lighter weight build uh, sort of XCR race face coming in at about 13.6 but according to Forbidden that 130 mil travel is you know that is not a number to judge it by it is far more capable otherworldly they claim uh, over the big stuff so that's the static tech talk done on the druid uh, and i really can't think of a trail center that looks more like uh, the people who did stonehenge uh, built it than stainburn in terms of loads of massive kind of awkward janky rocks so uh, i'm gonna get to my riding gear and let's hit the trails and see if this druid really delivers on this you know supernatural uh, hit control that they're claiming for it uh, mass, like I say, massive thanks to Ben from No Limits for bringing the bike, you know, get in touch with him if you want to talk Forbidden Druid, certainly in the north of England. Uh, big thanks to my Patreon supporters for making unsponsored videos like this possible. And as a reward, they get exclusive early and extended edits uh, as a thank you for that. And kind of a higher level of uh, interaction between me and them. But for now, uh, thanks for clicking for notifications. Uh, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing on the channel and make sure, obviously, make sure you watch the live ride review. I mean, I've not shot it yet, but I am super excited about hitting trails I know really, really well on a bike that's totally different to anything I've ridden up here. So that's what's going to happen next. I've been Guy Kesteven on Guy Kest TV talking about the Forbidden Druid.